Welcome to Tech Brother with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn about uh, extent uh, operator that uh, creates a uh, calculated columns, uh, append them to the results set. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and take a look. Uh, here, uh, what we have, uh, we have a total sale table and uh, we have some uh, list of the columns here ID, sale person, first name, last name, product name, item sold, item sold price, uh, sold date, and all that. Uh, and I have inserted this uh, data into this table. Uh, now let's go ahead and take a look on all entire data so we are saying total sale we are not specifying any columns here so see right there all the columns of uh, uh, total sale are coming right there with data now think about that uh, if i would like to get uh, the full name column at the end of it uh, so this is uh, the entire uh, list of the columns coming through but i would like to add another column here with full name so i can uh, use the uh, total sale that will bring everything then use the pipe sign then use the keyword extent uh, uh, i don't know extent or extent or whatever so you use this keyword uh, and then uh, here you are going to say the name of the column in my case i'm going to say hey name this uh, new column is equal to full name and then i'm saying equal to and this string concatenation so i'm using sale person first name putting some space between that and then sale person last name then uh, I'm using comma here and getting day of the year. So day of the year function I used here and uh, sold date. So I would like to get uh, on which day of the year the item was uh, sold. So see here it is going to return me all these columns but we have right there. Then it's going to add two more column full name and uh, day of the year at the end. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So execute and now what you are going to see you are going to see full name right here and then a day of the year after that okay so that's fine but uh, uh, think about that sometimes you don't need to get all the columns but still you want to do calculation or add or drive columns after you have a first result set so think in this scenario i'm getting from the total sale i say project that means i am more interested to get some specific columns so once i say project then i can provide the list of the columns i would like to display in this case i am displaying id sale person first name sale person last name sold price uh, item sold and the sold date so if i execute this part of the query what's going to happen is going to return me only those four or five columns now depending on these four or five columns if i would like to add an extra column or two columns here i can do that so then what i will use i will use the pipe sign here use the keyword extent and then use the same formula here full name equal to my sale person first name sale person last name so i can catenate these two and create my full name then uh, I use uh, the day of the year and use the function here and then uh, use the sold date column from here and then create a day of the year column here. So I have a result that's already dri driven uh, or uh, uh, that's a very limited set of uh, uh, result set. Uh, then I can add columns to the end of that as well. So if I run this whole thing together, this is going to return me all these columns what we have selected here then uh, these two columns uh, that we just created by using extent at the end so see right there so that's what uh, that's how the extent is going to work uh, so i thank you for watching my videos please go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will see you guys uh, in next video